Hey, what's going on people? I hope y'all are doing well. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at three different gimbals. We have the Osmo Mobile 6, the Homem M6, and then the Insta360 Flow. I'll be putting these gimbals head to head in order to find out which one is the best option for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I understand that there are many other gimbals on the market, including the Zhiyun Smooth 5S and several others. However, I feel like these three are the leaders in this space and offer something unique. To make this video a little bit easier to consume, I'm going to break it up into six different categories, including pricing, design, ease of use, software features, performance, and value. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and kick this video off beginning with pricing. All three of these gimbals start at $159.99 and they come with similar accessories. The Home and the DJI both include screw-on tripods, whereas the Flow has a built-in tripod. Home provides a hard case for the M6, whereas DJI and Insta360 offer carrying pouches. Each gimbal has optional higher price bundles, or you can get additional accessories. The DJI Osmo Mobile 6 offers a fill light for 59 bucks, a hard case for 39 bucks, or a mini bag plus for 39 bucks. Insta360 offers a creator kit or bundle for $209, and that includes a clear bag and a spotlight. Home also offers a $209 bundle, which features a magnetic fill light that doubles as an AI tracking sensor that we'll talk about later. Each manufacturer approaches design a little bit differently with the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 and the Insta360 Flow being the most alike. Let's look beyond cosmetics though and take a look at build quality, portability, and any added value that these gimbals might have to offer. All three gimbals are very well built and should last years if taken care of, but the DJI definitely feels the cheapest. The gimbal just feels hollow, which accentuates the plasticky feel that you get whenever you pick it up. Although the buttons and the structure of the gimbal are really solid, it just doesn't feel like a premium gimbal. The home has an interesting in the hand feel. The grip looks like rubber, but it's just textured polycarbonate. The Hoem buttons are actually the cheapest out of the three, even though the gimbal does weigh the most. The Insta360 Flow has the best build quality of these three gimbals, in my opinion. It features a nice rubber sleeve for enhanced base grip, and it has sturdy buttons and a nice tactile joystick to use. The Insta360 Flow is also the most portable of these three gimbals, followed by the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, and then the Hoem M6. The DJI and the Insta360 Flow feature magnetic phone clips, while the Home M6 uses a traditional cradle that you have to manually rotate. It's these subtle differences that make the Home gimbal less portable and the least compact when compared to these other two. Now let's discuss extra features to improve usability. The DJI Osmo Mobile 6 features a small display to confirm correct phone placement with a red to green LED change. It shows battery life, gimbal mode, and pulsates in standby. The button layout is simple, but some features may be questionable. The small wheel on the side is almost comical in my opinion, and although it does function well, it can cause accidental zooms because of its placement and how easy and loose it is whenever you accidentally bump it. Luckily, it can be disabled in the settings. The extendable selfie stick has a tiltable head and a lockable tilt access to prevent the phone from moving whenever the gimbal is placed in standby mode. The Insta360 Flow is the sleekest gimbal with the most streamlined design. It doesn't feature a traditional scroll wheel. Instead, it features a customizable smart wheel using a combination of physical and touch sensitive controls. Each button is touch sensitive with either a single, double, or triple tap creating many different actions, which I really enjoy using. It has a telescoping selfie stick and a tilting head. It also features the extendable tripod that doubles as a grip extension, which I really enjoy using as well. Notably, Flow integrates a customizable arm, that way you can add a little personalization to your gimbal. It also has a cold shoe on this arm for mounting microphones. And lastly, while Flow is turned off, you can use it as an external battery pack to charge your phone or tablet. The Homem M6 features an OLED display showing gimbal and Bluetooth status, battery life, mode, and more, while also sporting a better wheel design than its counterpart, the Osmo Mobile 6. The wheel can focus, control the roll access, or temperature of the LED light if it's mounted. There are four quarter 20 threads all over the gimbal which offer great expansion. 
The home gimbal can lock upright with a tilt and pan access, while the roll access remains unlocked for the phone to move around freely, which could be a bad thing depending on how you have this packaged up. The M6 also has the battery bank feature that's found on Flow, so you can use this gimbal to charge your phones and tablets as well. All in all, I think the Insta360 Flow has the best design of these three. It offers a balance of excellent build quality, portability, and features. The Home M6 would be my second pick, followed by the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, considering this just feels really cheap in the hand and it just has a bare basic design. For ease of use, I look at how fast it is to deploy and control each one of these gimbals. The Insta360 Flow and the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 score the best on setup as both unfold to power on. Flow does have an edge since you can balance your phone on the mount while it's still folded. The Home M6 is easier to use because of the large display and button layout, but it takes the longest to set up and it's also the bulkiest. Flow has the steepest learning curve, but once you get used to it, it's actually quite intuitive and it only took me a few days to get everything down packed. The Osmo Mobile 6 has the most basic approach to all of this, which might be good for some, but personally, I found it too limiting. For ease of use, I'm going to give this one a tie since the Insta360 Flow has the faster setup, while the Home M6 is a bit more intuitive with its controls. I think for most people, the deciding factor in choosing a gimbal will be the unique features that each one has to offer. This means the different aspects that make each gimbal stand out from the crowd. Starting with the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, this gimbal solely relies on the DJI app for features like Active Track 5.0. If you're using a Galaxy S23 Ultra, this can lead to a plethora of issues. For example, you'll need to download the Mimo app through DJI's website since it's not available on the Play Store anymore. A little weird. You're also limited to 4K at 30 frames per second within the app, and you can't use the ultra wide or telephoto cameras. Plus, using a third party app could mean degrading the image processing that the stock Samsung app offers. However, the DJI app is easy to use and it offers several useful features like Active Track 5.0, which works really, really well. It has light cuts and shooting guides. There's even a story mode with templates, although its end results can be hit or miss. <laughs> So I just discovered something that I wanna share with you guys. So with the home and with the Insta360 Flow, if you triple press the trigger back here, it will spin the camera around. However, on the DJI, this is not an option. I'm triple pressing, nothing happens. Now if I double press, it aligns the phone and corrects itself, but you can't spin the phone around with the DJI. Like I'm sorry, but that, is really whack. Like how dumb is that? This, this has a selfie stick. Like it extends so that way you can get more in the shot. It makes it perfect for using the rear cameras, except you can't. Oh my gosh, so stupid. The Insta360 Flow heavily relies on its app as well, which is easy to find and use, but Unlike the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, you don't need to use the camera inside of the app to take advantage of things like Deep Track 3.0. Additionally, with the app, you can use live mode for video calls and live streams. Insta360 provides more functions than DJI. You can take 360 photos with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is awesome. And it has hoop mode for basketball enthusiasts. Plus, Insta360 opened up their entire video editor for Flow and added things like Shot Genie that gives you shot suggestions based on the filming conditions in real time. Overall, the Insta360 app is just more polished than both the DJI and Home apps and I really like it. Speaking of home, let's talk about the Home M6. There are several home apps in the App Store and this makes it really frustrating. So make sure to download the right one. I'll link it down in the description to make it easier for you. The app itself is better than DJI's app in some ways, supporting 4K at 24 and 30 frames per second, manual control in both photo and video, and you get object and face tracking. Home's moments mode offers shot templates, but they're not as diverse as DJI 
or Insta360. With that said, the Home M6 doesn't need an app to use two of its best features, including starting, stopping, and creating keyframes for time lapses. Tracking can also be used without an app if you opt for the more expensive $209 bundle thanks to the magnetic fill light that doubles as an AI tracking sensor. In fact, you can even place an action camera like an Insta360 ONE RS or a GoPro in the Home M6 cradle and use the sensor to track you. This makes the Home M6 a powerful smartphone gimbal. But is it the best? When it comes to software features, the Insta360 Flow takes the kick. Plus, it can track using any app, and while it may not be able to track using an action camera attached to it, that's not what these gimbals were made for, so I really can't hold that against Flow. Not to mention, Flow doesn't require an additional $50 to make any of this happen. App-wise, Flow is far superior to Home, offering more features, modes, and support. Flow's AI-powered video editor and templates plus shot lab creations are superior to what DJI offers, giving it a leg up on both. In my experience using these gimbals and the apps that are associated with each gimbal, I would rank them like this. Flow, Home, DJI. So let's talk about using these gimbals. The Home M6 supports a 400 gram payload and handles any phone with ease. Although calibration requires adjusting the roll access, it's not bothersome whatsoever. Its chunky handle ensures a firm grip, and the M6's vertical tilt is superb, with no issues tilting in landscape or portrait. However, occasional weird drifting happens even after calibrating inside the app. Battery life is also really impressive. It features an 18 hour rating, but you'll probably get closer to 15 hours of use, especially if you're using a Galaxy S23 Ultra. The DJI Osmo Mobile 6 is reliable and efficient, despite having the lowest payload support at 170 to 290 grams. Using the Galaxy S23 Ultra in sports mode, quick movements may cause the Osmo Mobile 6 to freak out if the phone isn't properly balanced and calibrated, or if you have the selfie stick fully extended. The Osmo Mobile 6 is rated for eight hours of use, but since the S23 Ultra is on the heavier side, I was averaging around six to six and a half hours Hours. The Insta360 Flow is the most balanced option among these three gimbals, although it's not without its flaws. It supports up to 300 grams, offering more leeway than the Osmo Mobile 6, but falls short of the Home M6. But it does stabilize the S23 Ultra without any issues. The gimbal only tripped up a few times when transitioning from underslung mode to upright due to my wrist movement, but it did fix itself pretty quickly. Stability-wise, it's just as good as the Osmo Mobile 6 and the Home. The flow tracks objects very well and features a better predictive behavior and subject recognition than the Home M6 and the Osmo Mobile 6. Battery life is rated around 12 hours, but I'm getting around 10 and a half to 11 hours due to the weight of the S23 Ultra. So let's end with value. Product support is important too. I've had more firmware updates for the Insta360 Flow gimbal than the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 and the Home M6 combined. Flow offers the most value as a base kit, followed by the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 and then the Home M6. But if you add the AI tracking module onto the Home M6, it easily bumps up to second. However, Flow offers very similar capabilities in a smaller, more compact form factor without the need of an additional $50 module, which I love. The app and editing capabilities of Insta360 are also far superior to both of these gimbals. Plus, given their track record, there's a good chance of seeing new features coming to Flow very, very soon. So with all that being said, we finally have a winner. The best gimbal for the Galaxy S23 Ultra is the Insta360 Flow followed by the Home M6 with the AI module, of course, and coming in last is the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. If you have any other comparisons you would like to see, go ahead and drop me a comment below. Links to all three of these gimbals can be found in the description if you're interested in learning more or picking up any of these. Make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.